Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, so what's up? It's me, Daisy. And me, Molly. Uh, Daisy, why are we dressed up like the characters from Stranger Things? Because this Brookhaven update event is sort of like Stranger Things. It's creepy. There's a whole lot of conspiracy going on here. And you're gonna love this one, Molly. Yeah, you guys are loving our Brookhaven update secret tests. So we're gonna test this one and see if it works. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Um, we should probably ride our bike, so that's what they did in Stranger Things. <laughs> you like my waffle, Daisy? Of course you'd pick 11. That way you could eat snacks the entire video. Mm -hmm. Dude, waffles are delicious. It's true, Eleven is my favorite character from Stranger Things because she gets to eat waffles all the time. <laughs> Molly, come on, follow me. First thing we need to do is go into the old hospital. Ooh, it's super creepy up there. Exactly. I'm telling you, there's a conspiracy going on in Brookhaven. All right, um, okay, I rode my bike over here. Now what? Now climb up onto this and go up into the old hospital. Ugh, I can't make this jump. Too busy eating my waffle. Ugh, you can see that? I'm just like stuck on the edge. Um, Daisy, you gotta give me a second. My waffle's getting caught on the edge. Come on, Molly, what are you doing? I'm taking forever to get up there, apparently. Oh, why can't I get up there? I ate too many waffles today. Finally! <laughs> She's such a noob sometimes. Come on, let's go. All right, what do we have to do first? We have to find the activate button. Is there an actual activate button in here? Uh, wait, is that it? Yes, Molly, push the agency um, paper. It will be an activate button. Whoa, awesome, then what? Then we're gonna go to a secret room behind the x-ray machine. Seriously? <gasps> Look, there's still a zombie guy in there. Okay, Um, where's the x-ray machine? Down here in the new hospital, Molly. What? All right, let's go into the x-ray room. See if Daisy's full of it. Back here, Molly. Wait, what? Where'd Daisy go? <gasps> Did you guys just see that? I'm gonna show you that again. We're in the x-ray machine room at the um, real hospital. Just go behind the screen, walk in and look at that. There's a secret room back here, guys. This is amazing. Now, Molly, we're going to click the papers on the desk. What papers? These papers? Yes, Molly, those papers. Nothing happened when I clicked them. Well, you don't think anything happened, but did they? Dun, dun, dun. Now we're going to go to the barn and click the button in the loft. Whoa. This is getting complicated, guys. But I'm going to follow through because... Daisy said this is super creepy and cool, so let's do this. Should we ride our bikes there, Daisy? Absolutely, it'll take a long time if we don't have our bikes. Ready when you are, Daisy. Let's go. I love testing Brookhaven secrets. I think it's amazing, and you guys love these videos, so slam the like button if you think this one's gonna be just as amazing. It's gonna be, Daisy, it's gonna be, I just know it. I just noticed I'm not wearing any shoes with my outfit. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whatever, you don't need shoes for these secrets. All right, now what are we doing? We are gonna go and click a button up here in the loft, if you can find it. It's over here, Molly! There's a button up here? Where? I don't see a button. Molly, look up. What? I don't see anything. Right there, Molly! What? Oh my God, TS level one authorized. What does that mean? You're about to find out. Now we're gonna go to the abandoned house and click a button by the fridge. Cool, but let's eat a waffle first. Nom, 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 nom. Daisy, where's your bike? Where's your bike, huh, huh, huh? 
Going around in circles, going around in circles. Ay, ay, ay. Can you believe this ignoramus is my sister? <laughs> believe it or not, you're stuck with me, Daisy. All right, we have to go to the abandoned house, which is creepy in itself. But then we're going to look for a button by the fridge. Wait a minute. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, there's Daisy. This way, Molly. Come on. Doesn't your bike go any faster? Well, since I'm the one that's powering it and I'm lazy, no, it doesn't go any faster than this. Well, look at that spooky moon. It reminds me that Halloween is definitely coming. Yeah, I wonder if they'll do any Halloween updates in Brookhaven. Of course they will. They'll put in all sorts of cool stuff in here. Daisy, look, we're almost there. Correction, I'm almost there. You're a rotten egg because it's taking you so long. Oh, very funny. Oh, Apache Street. That was the name of our little wiener dog. He was a dachshund. He was so adorable. A button by the refrigerator. Let's see a button by the refrigerator. Molly, get on top of the refrigerator. Molly, look right there in the gap between. Do you see it? Oh my God, it's hidden. Look at that, guys. Seven energy crystals released. A19 numeric sequence approved. Whoa. And the plot thickens. Now what? Now we have to find seven crystals. Oh, guacamole. This seems like a lot of work. Um, good thing I still have waffles left. Molly, if you run there, it's going to take twice as long. Come on. We have seven crystals to find on this mission. First, we have to go on the roof of the hospital. Dizzy, what happens when we find all these crisp crystals? Oh, <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> that sounds kind of scary, Daisy. I don't know if I want to see. Come on, Molly. You got to collect all the crystals. Oh, no. I have to get back on this roof again? We all know I'm not very good at that. Oh, wait a minute. I did it that time. Okay, we have to go up onto the top of the roof. And there should be crystals up here, according to my crazy sister. Well, everything else worked, didn't it? Let's go find a crystal. I'm going to be so sad if this doesn't actually work. Wait, where? What's that? <gasps> there they are! Okay, I can't fit myself back there, but I'm picking them up. One energy captured. Yes! All right, where to now, Daisy? Now we got to go at the plant, up the, like the plant in the church. Whoa, this is getting so exciting! All right, it says in the plant at the church, there's another crystal. No, no, no. Oh my God, Daisy is right, guys. There's crystal number two. Play from over here, Molly. Oh, I got him. All right, where now? Now, let's see. According to my notes, we need to go to the counter in the abandoned house. Wow, they've got you running all over Brookhaven for these. That's okay. All right, Daisy, ready when you are. So guys, we're back at the abandoned house. And now we're looking on the counter for some more crystals. And I'm looking all over. Of course, Daisy will find them before me. I'm sure of it. Molly, they love to hide things in gaps around here. You gotta look everywhere. <gasps> There's the crystals. Da, 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 do, do. Okay, we just got number three, guys. Now we need to go near the Blackhawk sign. Where's that, Daisy? I'll show you, Molly. Come on. Okay, we're gonna take Daisy's motorcycle over to the Black Hawk sign. I know I've seen it before, but I'm just not really sure where it is in Brookhaven off the top of my head. But Daisy remembers exactly where it is. She's going to drive us over there. You are eating another waffle. Well, you're going to get a stomachache. That's way too many waffles. Never! Oh, yes. I know I've seen this before. All right. Now we're going to look for them over here. See if I can find them anywhere, guys. Daisy always finds them before me. I know she does. Now, where did that daisy go? Over here, Molly! I knew she'd find the crystals before me. She always does. But guess who's the first to find any waffles? Me. Whoa, they are really hidden. Wait, how do we get down to that? Molly, you just have to kind of, like, click. Um, even though you can't get down there. Oh, energy four captured, guys. Awesome. All right, now we have to go to the stables. There's crystals there, too, right, Daisy? Yes, Molly, that's exactly right. Oh, we're pulling up to the stables. Stop, Daisy, stop. They could be anywhere around here, like literally anywhere. But yes, but I take notes on this one. I know, I've been reading them. <laughs> Molly, you cheetah, cheetah, pumpkin needle. Well, why should you be the one that knows where everything is? That's not nice. Did you find them, Daisy? Yep, I totally did. Look behind this box. Oh, she's right, guys. 
There's the crystals at the stables. Number five captured. All right, now we need to go to the North Estate plot. That's what Daisy's notes say anyway. Ah, uh, did you call them your notes earlier? Why are you taking your bike? Don't you want to take the motorcycle? It's out of gas. Oh, man. I could give it some. <laughs> Ew, Molly. Gross. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we're at North, um, North, what's this one called? North Estate? Yes, Molly, North Estate. All right, and my dogs are barking. They're getting so excited that I'm about to find this other crystal. Our dogs are crazy. They bark all the time. Yeah, they bark at like nothing. Or maybe not. Maybe they're barking at the Demogorgon. Uh, Molly, I don't think so. Besides, you're 11. You can take care of them. <laughs> It is somewhere here. Now I'm lost. I don't even know where I am now. Oh, I see Daisy jumping. She's found it first. Of course she has. Look at her over there with her t-shirt and her little Scoops Ahoy hat. She looks adorable. Dogs, why are you barking? They're just excited, Molly, because we just found another crystal. What? The number six energy capture. Woo! We got one more, Daisy. Where is it? It is on the stable floor. Barn floor. You're reading my notes again. Well, I want to seem kind of smart too. Come on, Molly. Let's get this last crystal and see what happens. I don't know if I'm excited or afraid. <laughs> All right, here's the barn, guys. So let's look for these last crystals. I'm going to try to find one before Daisy, but I may or may not because she's... <gasps> I actually did find them before Daisy. Yes. Energy crystals are waiting for power. Wait, what? Am I on top of the arch? What? Daisy? Um, I don't know what's happening. What do I do? Break a one nine. Break a one nine. Are you there? What? What? What is this that you put in my pocket? A walkie-talkie? Daisy, use your iPhone. Molly, break a one nine. Break a one nine. Stop saying that, Daisy. I'm here. Do you copy? I copy. Oh, she's so annoying sometimes. Why aren't you using your iPhone? Uh, try not to burn up in that walkie-talkie with your iron fist. Iron fist? Ah! My hand's on fire! It's glowing! Yeah, Molly, that's what that does when you do all the secrets. Why are you calling me on this walkie-talkie? Because Stranger Things was from the 1980s. There weren't any iPhones. Wow, like when our parents were born? Man, they're old. <laughs> um, okay, so what do I do? Break a one nine, break a one nine. Okay, Breaker, get down here. My name's not Breaker, it's Molly. Whoa! Okay, um, now what? Go to the town hall power room and click on a button. Is that what it says on your notes? Yes, Molly. Get there as soon as you can. Do you copy, Molly? Do you copy? Breaker 19. Daisy, I'm standing right next to you. Enough of the walkie talkies. Okay, we have to go into the town hall. Let's go. I didn't know town hall had a pool in it. That's kind of cool. All right, Molly. Now, um, this is what you have to do. Uh, this seems like a bad idea. You're the iron fist, Molly. Do it. Click the high voltage one, Molly. Okay, I did it. Now, go to the secret room and the x-ray room behind the cabinet. Oh, my guacamole. This is a lot of steps here. Okay, doing it. I love these secret updates. They're like my favorite thing. Wait, there's surgery. Oh, let's go look at the babies. Aw, wah, wah. <laughs> Had to take a pit step to the nursery. They're so adorable. All right, let's go. Daisy, why are you on your walkie-talkie? Stop with the walkie-talkie. All right, I went into the secret room. And what am I looking for now? Back here, Molly. There's another secret room behind this cabinet. Are you serious right now? Totally. What is that? It's a scalpel, Molly. Pick it up. Oh, I don't know about this. This seems kind of weird. Now we have to go to the roof of the school. What? Why? So guys, this is how you get to the roof of the school. You just go into the auditorium and you're going to be able to get in there from here. I still have my iron fist. This way, Molly. Come on. Whoa. This is amazing. I can't believe this secret event. So cool. This way, Molly. We have to open a secret door on the roof. At exactly the right time. Whoa! This is amazing! Hey, wait a minute. What's that? Is that a note? What's it say? We learn in school as we grow, and numbers teach us where to go. Mr. Brookhaven. Who says Mr. B? Everybody knows it's Mr. Brookhaven. 
So wait a minute, let me read that one more time. So I think it's the clue. We learn in school as we grow and numbers teach us where to go. Oh my God, guys, we need numbers to put into this code right here. All right, so we have to go back down into the school, but how do we get out of here now? We're like stuck in here. This way, Molly. Oh, okay, um, so now we have to go over here, go back into our school, and then find the code. It might be written on like a chalkboard or something. That's what I'm thinking, guys. Let's go find out. All right, I'm gonna go look in the classrooms. No, you'll never get bored when you try something new. There's really no limit to what you can do. Okay, it's not there. Hmm. No students allowed. Maybe it's in the principal's office. Where would the code be? Oh, you know, I just like totally want to get into the com computer at the principal's office. Maybe it's in the janitor's room. Wax floors, paint gym, and the doors. No. Hmm. Guys, maybe it's actually... Did you find it, Daisy? Yes, Molly. Follow me. She's going to take notes. It's in one of the classrooms. Let's go see where it is. Is it on the teacher's desk? It's on a plant! 31058. 31058. 31058. All right, guys. Let's go back into the auditorium, up into that secret room. Do you guys remember the number? Keep it in your mind because we're going to have to enter it in in about three or four seconds. Okay, I'm going to go through here. What was the number, guys? What was it? If you guys said 31058, you were right. I'm clicking this button. Coordinates approved. What is this, Daisy? Molly! Look what happened! What? Um, is that a portal? Molly, I think it is a portal. Oh. Um, through a maze of toilets and restrooms where your only way out is through toilets. Here's the catch. Your escape route depends on your answers to bizarre poll questions. What? I'm Billy? OMG, guys. I am dressed up as Billy right now, Um, which I'm okay with. You know, I can be Billy. Um, All right, let's see what our first question is going to be. Your brother accidentally sneezes on your ice cream. Uh -oh. What do you do? Um, hello? Eat it anyway. What? Flush me down. Flush me down. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Look at Billy <laughs> with his scuba gear on. I would eat it anyway. It's ice cream, people. Wait, what's happening? Oh, did I answer incorrectly? Oh, no. Um, I'm thinking this probably can't be good. All right, I, I guess I get another chance at that question. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pick throw it out this time. Wait, what just happened? Ooh. Wait, what? Did someone just like shoot me or something? All right, now I, now I, I don't know what's going on here right now. All right, the correct answer is throw it out. Even though I think the correct answer is eat it anyway. <laughs> Down I go. All right, more people said put it in the trash then, you know, continue to eat it, which is just totally lame. Oh, this bathroom is gross. <gasps> All right, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know. I think I'm supposed to go down to this slide. Whee! More toilets! So many toilets right now. All right, next question. I look so adorable as Billy, don't I? Winky, winky. Um, I'm winking at you guys. If you had a time machine, would you go forward or back? Oh, um, the, uh, I'd say forward. I want to see what happens in my life. Do all these detentions lead to anything? Woohoo! Flush me down! I'm not even brown! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes! I won that one! I'm so excited! Holy macaroni! That was awesome. I kind of look like ma macaroni, don't I? Oh, little baby changing station. That's so cute. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at me going through this tube, guys. It reminds me of one of my Chuck E. Cheese. Next question. Have you ever called your teacher mom by accident? Um, yeah. 
all the time. And then I'm like, oh, whoopsie. I didn't mean to call you mom. Whoops. Whee! Uh-oh. Is this good or bad? I see the light. Oh, wait. They voted yes. So why am I dying right now? That doesn't seem fair. I answered correctly. Oh, I died anyway, even though I got the question right. That was weird. Which would you rather have? A garden that grows donuts mm. or chicken that lays chocolate eggs? Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute, peeps, okay? Um, slam the like button if you know where eggs come from. Uh, I do not want to eat a poop egg. No, thank you. I'll go on a garden that, that grows donuts, okay? I don't need a chicken pooping out chocolate eggs for me. Wait a minute, I didn't even go down. What happened? A donut garden wins! Bum, 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 bum. I'm doing so good. I want to try to make it to the whole end of this game. Uh, what is this? In what is this? I guess it's supposed to be like a bath or something. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It is gross though. Worst way to spend a full day. Palms covered in Cheetos dust. Spinach stuck in your front uh -oh. teeth. Oh! Oh, this is embarrassing. That has happened to me. This is why I never eat spinach anymore. <laughs> just kidding. I eat healthy sometimes. Did I just die? Oh, no! Oh, my God. A giant poop is coming after me. Now I'm dressed like a Billy that's a giant poop. Oh, my goodness. I don't even... Ah, why'd you run into me, gummy bear? Okay, I'm done being a poop, though. That's good. All right, guys. Um, I'm, I guess that the answer was supposed to be palms covered in Cheetos dust. But, you know, I mean, yeah, that's pretty awful, but... I can think of worse things in life. Whee! This is so fun! Oh, Cheeto Palms didn't win by that much, though. Where am I going now? Up this ladder? Oh, I'm Billy, so I'm a stick figure and I'm having trouble climbing. Uh, oh, here's the next question. Best place to eat, inside or outside? Definitely outside if it's nice weather. I love it. Me and my family grill out all the time. So let's see if what what you guys picked. Um. Um. What? Stinky poo poo. Ha ha. La 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 la. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, no! There's a fart! Oh my god, a gorilla fart just killed me. Oh, I cannot believe a gorilla fart just killed me. That was rude. <laughs> I take it that eating outside was not your preferred way of eating, guys. Because y'all picked inside. Now, don't you guys like to get fresh air? Come on. Especially after you smell all these stinky toilets. Whee! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yep, indoor one, guys. Oh, this is like a pool. I don't know what it's a pool of. Maybe green slime, but let's swim down and see, see what's down here. Ooh, is there any trap doors? Okay, that's just in Brookhaven. I've been looking up secrets, guys. If you haven't seen my secrets videos yet, you can check them out on our main channel, Star Squad. And I think there's one on Daisy's channel, too that she did and guys it is awesome all the new stuff and the updates so you guys want to check out those videos and my brain's just thinking about that now because like i'm going down into these pools and like i'm like oh is there a secret passage down here or anything no that one's too shallow there's nothing there all right how do i get out of here now let me out of the potty is that a band-aid on the floor Gross! How many toilets are there in this place? Oh, wait. There's a secret passage. Open sesame! Whee! <laughs> okay. You dropped your lollipop and it's been five uh -oh. seconds. What do you do? Um, I continue eating it. Unless it fell in a clump of dog hair. Who cares? Five second roll. Still good! I couldn't get flushed down. I'm just too much doo-doo, I guess. Oh, no. What's going to happen? You guys are liars. You continue eating it. Don't even say you wouldn't. Oh, rubber ducky killed me. The best ideas are born in the bathroom. You guys really are. I think you guys lied on this quiz. You, you said that you would not eat it after it fell on the floor. Come on. If there was no hair on it, you would eat it. All right. I'll just let it go. 
It's not like, I mean, unless you live in New York City, then if you drop something in the ground, it's gone forever. Ew, gross. Then let it go, let it go. All right, now I'm in like a bathroom, bathroom. Um, I don't, should we go in the, in the shower or something? I don't know. Oh, I think you have to go around the edge. I don't know how to get out of here. Wait, here we go. Whee! Which would you rather have? A flower pot that grows gummy worms or a tree that grows ice cream? A tree that grows ice cream, of course. That sounds delicious. Um, Little known secret, I don't really like gummy worms that much. They stick in my teeth. Then I have to brush my teeth an extra two times. Ice cream tree wins! Yay! I got one right. I'm so proud of myself right now. Down we go. If you find a spider in a beautifully woven web, what would you do? Knock it down or let it be. Um, Just so you know, Daisy does not like spiders. I don't mind spiders. Snakes, I don't like snakes that much, I have to say. But only if they scare me. Because sometimes a snake, you won't see them and then they like startle you. Oh, it says let it be. You guys love insects and spiders and animals and stuff must be. Because you said don't bother it. Well, anyway, Daisy is kind of afraid of spiders, so she might be like, ah, spider! Um, but I, oh, my head is stuck. Whoa. But I'm just, like, afraid of snakes if they scare me. <laughs> my head looks a, like a lollipop, kind of. Can I please go through one of these tunnels? There we go. Guys, if I look weird as Billy, slam the like button. I think I definitely do. Best toilet paper style. Oh my god, if you put it under. Ugh, don't even talk to me. That's just weird. I know it's just toilet paper, but it belongs over, not under. Wait, did I just win? Guys, did I. Wait, you've swirled through the first 10 stages with unparalleled poise. Your achievements are setting our doubts down the drain. And hey, who needs employer health insurance when you're breezing through it like this? What? The journey continues ahead. Guys, I made it through the whole first part in 10 minutes. I'm so proud of myself. Guys, slam the like button if you think this is amazing. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching my channel today. Um, It's me, Molly. I'm kind of dressed as Billy now. All right, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
Um, yeah, the baby seems nice enough, even if it doesn't look quite human. Come on, we better take this baby to the hospital. And quick! Hush, let us take Fico, don't say a word. Daisy's gonna buy you a... I don't know, a marking board? Do you like those sorts of things? I don't know. Poor little baby. Over here! I think we should take it to the doctor in the nursery, since no one's behind the desk. Yeah, you probably will. Maybe we can find it a pacifier and a diaper. Okay, little stick figure, you stay there. Hey, maybe we should name it Billy, like that one from Roblox. Oh, that's a good idea, but I think it might be a girl. Well, Billie Eilish, she's a girl. Good point. Um, now let's find the diapers. And also a passy. Oh, I found one. Here you go, little baby Billy. Oh. Whoa. She's looking really adorable. Even though uh, her face looks the same on both sides. Yeah, but it's not her fault. She's a stick figure. Aw, she really likes that passy. Here you go, baby. I gotta feed you some milk, okay? Um, Daisy, what are you doing? Testing it to make sure it's not too hot. Here you go, baby Billy. Oh, she was super hungry. Who would abandon such an adorable little stick figure baby in the park? I don't know, Bookie. I don't know. Um, Daisy, there's no diapers that fit a little baby stick figure. Well, I guess we're going to have to be teaching her to potty train really soon. Oh, she's really sweet. Look at her in that cute little hat. Okay, I think we should take her to the doctor and have her checked out now. I mean, she was left out in the cold all by herself. Oh, look! Baby Billy needs a night-night. Okay, Baby Billy. Shh. The doctor will be in soon. But until the doctor's here, you can take a night-night. Here's a little bottle for you. Hi there! Is there something I can help you with? Oh, my friend, she just went to get a doctor. Oh, sorry, there's no doctors on call right now. They're all in surgery. <laughs> I'd be happy to help you, though. I'm Nurse Brittany. Oh, okay. Um, Come over here, please, Nurse Brittany. I found this baby at the park, and, well, um, I found this baby in the park, and, um, well, oh, my gosh. It's a stick figure baby. I've only read about this in medical journals. Read about it? Is it real? Very rare. This baby has what's called stick figure syndrome. Whoa! Is it going to live? Yes, as long as we get a lot of calories into her right away. So she fills in like a normal baby, you know? Put some meat on her bones. Poor little thing. Yes, it's likely that, well, she's an orphan. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, I see you already gave her a bottle. That's great. Now we have to give her lots and lots and lots of food. We'll keep her here at the hospital so we can keep an eye on her in the NICU. Would you like to help me with that? Sure, since I'm the one that found her, I could be like a big sister. Oh, that's very sweet. Did you give her a name? Yeah, we named her Billy. Oh, that's a very cool girl's name. I know, right? I thought so too. Okay, baby Billy, time to eat lots and lots of food. Wait, will she be able to eat it all? Of course, babies with sticks on man syndrome, they typically are so hungry all the time. I'll be right back with some snacks for baby Billy. I'm Whoa! back! Whoa, that was fast! Look, baby Billy, there's so many snacks in there. What do you want? Oh, it looks like she's going for, ooh, good choice. Some watermelon, a muffin, a sandwich, two Oreos, and some milk. Wow, this is a really hungry baby. And now she's eating a hot dog. Holy macaroni and cheese. And now she's eating a seafood sandwich. And now she's eating some potato chips. And now she's eating a chocolate bar. Whoa, this baby has a lot in common with my sister Molly. And now she's going for some pizza. Yep, she's definitely like my sister. <laughs> Oh, gas and all. Wait a minute. I think she's starting to change. Oh, my gosh. It worked. She no longer has stick baby syndrome. But we have to make sure to continue her on the rigorous food menu with lots of calories until she's at least one month old. Oh, 
Oh, she is adorable! Oh, Billy, I'm so glad you got well. That's amazing. Oh, me too. Now we should take her up to the adoption center so someone can adopt her. I'm going to miss her so much. Come here, little Billy. I want to say goodbye to you. Sweet little baby. You keep getting better now, okay? And I hope a good mommy and daddy adopt you, sweet little girl. Okay, Daisy, it's time to say goodbye now. But don't worry, you could come visit her until she's adopted. Really? Absolutely. You can help feed her all her calories every day if you'd like to stop back after school. I sure would. I see you then, Billy, okay? Daisy. Oh my gosh, she just said my name. That's amazing. Okay, well, it's time for her next snack, so let's take her up to the adoption center, get her all cozied in, and give her some more food. That way her stick person syndrome doesn't come back. Good idea. <laughs> Search in Brookhaven, and I've come up with 10 new secret places that we should test. Wow. Seriously? You found 10 secret places? Well, I've been researching them, but we still have to test them out. The first one is at the bottom of the pool. Daisy, are you crazy? It's freezing outside right now. Fall has started. We can't go swimming. Well, we're gonna have to if you want to see this first secret place. Oh, yeah, I totally do. It's like 50 degrees out. I don't care. Watch me jump in the pool. Whee! Molly, go down to that corner right there. Swim down. And you're going to find a secret passage. What? Ah! Oh, my God. There's a secret passage under the pool. Daisy, did you make it? Of course. I had to put my scuba mask on. Whoa. Where do you think this leads? I have no idea where this is going to go. Me either, Molly. But things are looking pretty crazy right now. Um, wait, which way do we come from? That way, Molly. Let's go this way. What is this place, a sewer? It's like, no, it's, it's like a secret hideout or something. What's in this room? Boxes. Bum, bum, bum. There's nothing in them, though. <laughs> it's just an empty room. Daisy, let's go over here. Ew, it kind of smells funny down here. Uh -huh. Sorry, that was me. Ew, Molly. <laughs> what? There is a secret passage wall that came up. Did you guys see that? That is amazing. Where does it take? <gasps> the secret passage is right here. OMG. All right, let's see where that takes us out in town. So guys, if you go out from Brookhaven School, go around the side of the laundry mat. There is a secret passage right here. And it will take you all the way through down into the pool. Wait a minute. Did we come this way? Or... Yes, Molly. We came this way. Oh my God! Secret number one is amazing. Okay, that, that doesn't go that way. Okay, but you can only go this way. And wait, wait a minute. What's the... This is like a vent. Is this the way we came before? Ah! No, it's not! Oh my God! Daisy! We're inside Brookhaven Bank! Now all we need is a code and we can steal all the money. Okay, Daisy, that was kind of evil. All right, I'm going to count that as secret one and two because we found a secret passageway behind the laundromat. So let's move on to secret number three. Daisy, did you just seriously drive your car into the water? Oopsie. Well, we have to go back in the water because the next secret place is inside the summer camp cabin. What's your deal with getting in the water when it's fall? It's freezing. <laughs> well, Molly, if you want to know all these amazing secret places, you just have to. Where's the next secret? Okay, Molly, go into the back bedroom. Okay, going into the back bedroom. Oh, actually, it's not a bedroom. It's a, sh it's a bathroom. Sorry, I accidentally said bedroom, but it's a bathroom. Okay, now um, go on top of the shower. Ew, there's a spider up there. I'm not going up there. It might be a black widow. <laughs> I'm not going. Molly, if you want to know the next secret place, come on. Okay, I fell in the shower. Ugh. Ugh. You have to go up to the ceiling, Molly. Keep trying. Ah! <laughs> O-M-G. There's like a secret attic up here. If you go over here, there's like a little box and there's a mirror. But I have no reflection. Ah! I'm a ghost. 
And then over here, there's some toys. And uh, guys, that is a freaky doll. It's definitely going to be haunting me in my dreams tonight. Ah. So there you have it. There's secret place number three. Ooh. Next, Molly, we're going to find a very big secret inside the library and books. We are? Is it going to be a million dollars? No, Molly. We already went to the bank, remember? Okay, follow me. First, we're going to go into the library. Now, one of these shelves is going to have a secret area. When we go up to it, there's going to be a secret book. What? Are you serious? <gasps> I think I just found what she's talking about, guys. Um, I'm not really sure, but my head is stuck through the wall. Um, but I... Okay, let me go into first person and see if I can see anything. Uh, Daisy, I don't know what you're talking about right now. There's no secret book. Daisy? No, Molly, I'm certain it's in you. I've been doing research on this. Molly, it should be right here. I know, I saw that it was right here. Um, Daisy? All we look like is floating heads and there's no secret book. <gasps> this secret place has <coughs> been busted. So basically, I tested this one out and there's no secret book. Oh, <coughs> So secret number four, fail. Dizzy, Dizzy, I've got one, I've got one. Okay, Molly, let's hear yours. Although so far, I've only had one that's gotten busted. Okay, um, the first thing you need to do is come over to the motel and you have to rent one of the rooms. So we're gonna rent a room, but you can't come in here. I have to um, bust this myth by myself. Or this secret place, I should say. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, guys? When I sit on this toilet, a giant fart sound's gonna come out. <laughs> Molly, what's going on in there? Um, I'm just, I'm just testing out this, um, secret sound. Yeah, that's it. Molly, that's not a secret sound. You just ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> Prank job Quack. for number five. Dizzy, are you crying right now? No, it just smells so bad in here. I'm gonna throw up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, she's so dramatic. Did you just jump over my body? Like, like I wasn't just laying here. Dying from the smell? Again, like I said, dramatic. Come on, let's go test out some more secret places. For secret place number six, we have to walk through the wall. What? You can't walk through the wall. Well, actually, it's more like walking through the mountain. Well, that's no more easy than walking through the wall. Just trust me, Molly. It's a secret door. Walk straight ahead. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Ugh. Whoa, you're right. We can walk through the mountain. What is this place? Some sort of secret agency, I would guess, Molly. Holy guacamole. Let's see if they have aliens in here. I don't know, Molly, but they're up to no good in here. That's for sure. This looks like the power grid for the whole town. I wonder what this does. Um, well, I don't know, but um, I guess we're about to find out. All right, if we turn, turn on all of these, just turn everything on like a Christmas tree. Light it up. It gives you like a code, Molly. I don't know what that means. Uh, it says words over here. What if I type what's on the screen in there? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I'm just trying anything. Um, plus A25. Uh, okay, nothing happened. Not that we know of, Molly. But we just never know what happened out in town. We never do! Daisy, wait for me! Hurry up, Molly! I want to test out the next secret place. So far, we've only had one bust. Well, and the prank that you gave us, too. <laughs> I thought the bean burrito prank was hilarious. Oh, don't mind my sister. She can't take anything seriously. What? There it is, Daisy! There it is! Go inside, Molly, if you do. Um, eh, uh... It just looks like a giant, like, I don't know, cave or something. Wait, what's that? What is that? Wait, is that the way back out? Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> That's definitely not the right way. Let's go over here and explore some more. Bum, 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 bum. That's also the way out. Dizzy, I don't see anything special in here. Except for if you count a bear moving in. Well, I'm sure there's something hidden around you somewhere. Uh, I don't see anything, Daisy. There's gonna be, Molly. You just wait and see. So, secret place number six is kind of cool. Or is this Ooh. number seven? I can't remember. Ah! 
Marley, this is number seven, and this would be a great place to play hide and seek and never get caught. Exactly. Okay, okay, I found one, Daisy. Is this just another prank, Molly? Um, it's not a prank, but we have to test it to see if it actually works. Okay, Molly, what is it? First, we have to find the house. It's a bunker. Okay, perfect. And then, here, I'm gonna invite you in. And I'm going to test out this really cool, um, glitch in the game. Uh, first we have to go find where I can pump up some weights. Wait over here, Molly! What, do you need a workout right now? Yeah, totally! Alright, guys, watch this. I'm gonna X out of this house. Ooh. And, ha <laughs> I kept a thousand pounds worth of weights! <laughs> Whoa, Molly! That's a cool glitch! <laughs> wee, wee! Oh, man, those are starting to get heavy. I need a cupcake. Next secret for secret number Ooh. nine is there's definitely something on the back of the church steeple. What? OMG. How are we going to get up there? I think we should just take the helicopter and fly up there. I think that's the only way we can actually get to the top. Good idea. Good idea. Wait a minute. Are you going to crash us? No, Molly. I'm an expert helicopter driver. OMG, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. You know how to drive a helicopter. Sure you do. I can fly this thing. It can't be that hard. Daisy, where did you get that helicopter anyway? Oh, it was a part of my new mansion that I bought. All right, guys. Daisy's coming to pick me up. Molly, come on. I think I know the order we have to do with this in order to make this secret come true. Um, well, okay. Molly, we're here. What? Are you serious right now? OMG! Come on, Daisy, let's go. Whoa, there's like three scratches or something over here. I got like a sp I got like Wolverine claws! Okay, this is secret number nine all in itself, guys. Look at that. That is so cool. All right, um, now what do I do with these? Well, the first thing we could do is use them to rob all this money. Daisy, move this semi-truck over so I can jump up on the church and see if my Wolverine claws can slash into that button. Ay, yeah, yeah, Marley, that's not gonna work. It's gonna work. I have to, I have to myth bust this last one. Oh, you moved and you ran me over. Ah! All right, Daisy is running into the church with her semi truck. Um, it's okay. Oh, she got up there. Okay. Whoa! <gasps> the button! It came on, Daisy! <laughs> Best day of my life right now. All right, let's go see what it does inside the church. Come on. There's another button right there. I don't know. I'm pressing it, but nothing's happening. Let me try one more time. Oh, oh my God. D -d -d Daisy, I'm a g -g -g ghost. Molly, Molly, where are you? O-M-G, I'm on the Brookhaven Arch. <laughs> oh, guys, slam the like button if you loved these 10 secrets that we tested in Brookhaven today. I think they were really awesome, especially the bean burrito. <laughs> that was my favorite. Molly, are you dead? Molly, are you in the casket? <laughs> no, I'm way up here. Wow, the moon looks amazing. <laughs>
In two hours, the hurricane will start. Two hours? Mom, do we have the supplies we need? Oh my God, this is bad. Did you go to the grocery store today, Mom? Uh -huh. We're almost out of toilet paper. We're gonna be stuck in the house during a hur hurricane with no toilet paper. Um, no, I didn't get a chance to go to the grocery store today. I was too busy at my work. Ah! We're all gonna die. We don't have any toilet paper. Well, we have a uh, half a roll. Does anybody not realize that Daisy uses almost a half a roll every time she goes in the bathroom? Well, I mean, I just. I don't need to hear about it, Daisy. I'm just saying, Mom, we need to get over to Walmart and buy all of our hurricane supplies. First of all, I need to call your dad and tell him not to attempt to come home. I've got a bucket in case any of the house leaks. Daisy, this is a brand new house. Look at the ceiling. It looks amazing. It's not going to leak. But we could use that if we don't have enough toilet paper. Ew, Molly. Gross. All right, let me call your father and then we'll head out to Walmart. We need to hurry if the hurricane's going to be here in two hours. Hey, honey, I was just about to call you. My flight got canceled. Apparently, there's a giant hurricane that's about to hit Brookhaven. I know. I was just going to tell you, don't get on the plane. None of the meteorologists saw it coming. Don't worry, honey. I'm going to miss you, and I want you to stay safe, but I'll stay safe here. Dad, I miss you. Also, bring toilet paper. What? What'd you say? She wants you to bring home some souvenir toilet paper. <laughs> uh, my daughter's so weird sometimes. I know. Wait, I got my stuffed hippo. Uh, I'm not afraid. Come on, baby Kara. We have to go to the store. I'm just going to pick you up on my shoulders, okay? Because I don't want you to get your pajamas wet. It's already starting to rain a little bit. Baby Kara, why are you always sitting on my head? She likes to ride piggyback that way. It's so weird. Come on, girls. Let's go get in the car and head out to Walmart. Whoa, Walmart is so crowded. That's because we're about to get a huge storm. Everybody needs to buy eggs and bread so they can eat tons of French toast. Ay, ay, yeah, yeah, Molly. Anyway, let's split up and see what we can find. I'm definitely going to look for the toilet paper. Toilet paper's a necessity. Molly, we need to buy non-perishable canned goods. Ooh, this fruit looks good. I can make some smoothies with this. Molly, stay focused. Canned goods. Ooh, this Fanta orange soda comes in a can. Definitely going to need some of that. And, ooh, is that the cherry kind? Ooh, it looks delicious. Uh, Matchmaker's Cool Mint. No. Ooh, chocolate. Definitely need that. Molly, seriously. Uh, sorry. I just thought of, I'm sort of stress eating, okay? Uh, look, Molly, they have, um, some different types of, uh, like chips and, oh, can you get some beans, Molly? Molly, mom had that on the list, Molly. Okay, I got the beans. How about some cereal? Yeah, she probably will want some of that. Okay, do we want crunchy nut, uh, rice krispies, corn flakes, uh, Kit Kat cereal? Uh, that's not on the list, Molly. She said to get the Cheerios multi-grain. Family pack. Okay, got it. Wow, some of these shelves are cleared out already. It's because of the storm, Molly. Um, Daisy, the only kind of soup that's left is poop soup. Oh, my gosh, what's that made out of? I think it's made out of seagull poo. Ew, gross! Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat that if I were you. I guess we'll just make lots of chili with those beans. Well, we better start looking for some of the dog food and also the toilet paper. Oh, Jiminy Cricket, I almost forgot about the toilet paper. All right, I got the dog food. Can you get another package of it, though? Because one for Grace and one for Cleo. And also, I'm going to need some milk and butter. And what else? Oh, Molly, those aren't non-perishable. No, but they're making me hungry looking at them, so I'm going to eat them all. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go check out. Molly, you forgot about the most important thing that you were stressing about? Ah, toilet paper! All right, let's go see if they have any. Oh, my God. The aisle with the toilet paper is empty! Molly, we could just go to CVS. Maybe they'll have some. They better. They really better. All right, let's put up all of our stuff onto the conveyor belt. Hi, how are you? Are you ready for the storm? That's why we're here, lady, getting ready for the storm. Um, did you get anything for the storm? It looks like you bought a lot of chips and stuff. Uh, yeah, I know, but, um, that's because we are gonna be really hungry and we need to have chips and juice and soda. And, but we got some of the stuff my mom asked for, like, like, like the, the cereal and stuff. Okay, well, as long as you got what was on your mom's list, be safe in the storm out there. Thank you. We hope we are. <sighs> we ever get home hey you're out of toilet paper by the way yeah i know everybody's been coming in and buying bread 
milk, eggs, and toilet paper. Come on, Molly, let's go to CVS and see if they have toilet paper there. Molly, we have to hurry. The hurricane's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Okay, well, let's just go into the pharmacy and see if we can find some toilet paper. Ah, uh, there's no toilet paper. Um, soap, uh, uh, oh my God, they're sold on a toilet paper. Uh, it's okay, Daisy. I, I, I figured this out. What, Molly, what is it? Diapers. Are you serious right now, Molly? Well, I mean, it works for baby Kira, and we really don't have a choice because we don't have any toilet paper, so we've all got to wear diapers through the entire storm. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, we'll buy every box that they have. Well, they only have two boxes, so, um, yeah, you're going to have to hold it a lot. I can't believe it. We're so unprepared. Mom's going to be very upset we didn't find toilet paper. Well, we found an alternative. That's all we can say. Molly? Oh, I'm so glad you made it back home. Yeah, um, did you get the toilet paper? Huh? 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 Um, no, but we got one better. <laughs> Who needs toilet paper when you got this? What are you wearing? It's a diaper. Uh, yeah, I told her this wasn't going to go over very well. Molly, we can't all wear diapers. Well, what do you want me to do? All of the toilet paper was sold out. Okay, well, diapers it is then. Oh. Wow, everybody wear diaper like babies. <laughs> oh, very funny, baby Kira. Well, let's just hope this storm passes quickly and we're all safe. Ow, mommy's already using a diaper. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> oh, boy, Molly. <sighs> Wait, they're, they're about to say something on the news. Breaking news, breaking news. Our meteorologists were wrong again. That hurricane is going to miss us. Just some light rain and then some sunshine this evening. Sunshine? It's 1030 at night. I mean, tomorrow. <laughs> I guess I'm not a very good news reporter. Our meteorologists and our news reporters are terrible here at Channel 16. Um, whoopsie. So anyway, don't worry about that hurricane. Ugh, too late because I already just used my diaper. Ew, Molly. Thank you